A new at six to nine thousands of dollars in meals, hotels and trips charged to school credit cards were covered by a group of parents in the Mill Valley School District and it pushed KTVU to review receipts and statements. Our investigative reporter Brooks Rose is back now with what an outside audit has found and recommended Brooks. Heather, this review of the Mill Valley School District's credit cards was prompted by our report. The district spent $5,000 and the audit looked at three years worth of expenses. Now, it did not find any evidence of fraud in the 846 transactions it reviewed, but there were questions surrounding missing receipts, a limo ride, food on the Sonoma coast, and high-priced hotel charges. Now, after auditors reviewed receipts and event pictures, they were considered legitimate charges. KTBU looked at five years worth of expenses, finding a hot air balloon ride, a yacht charter in the San Francisco Bay, and a trip to a Tahoe ski resort. Now, Mill Valley School District told us those were paid for through donations. Now, we have not been able to receive any documentation of that, but tens of thousands of dollars were spent at restaurants each year. Well, this new review did not flag any of those, but it did give recommendations to avoid waste, fraud, or abuse, including creating a form for pre-approval of credit card purchases. It happens verbally right now. Next, developing a credit card policy for the district. Auditors say currently there isn't one. Finally, having a second person sign off on charges and include an approval date. That will help track what has been approved and when. Now, Superintendent Kimberly Berman tells KTVU, we take allegations of wrongdoing very seriously in our district and are committed to inspecting our practices and continually improving. We will implement recommendations that provide additional layers of protection in our district and continue to avoid potential fraud in the future. Now, the board is expected to approve this 38-page audit during Thursday's meeting. Heather? All right, Brooks DeRose reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Brooks.